Now the commutative law allows this to occur. If I have a variable a and I or that with another variable b, that's the same as taking a variable b and oring that with a variable a. Now of course these are Boolean variables, so we may as well have a look at the truth tables here. So if I take the a and b as the variables and work on what the combinations of each of these can be. Now if there's two variables, then obviously there's two to the two different combinations we can have, i.e. four combinations as you can see there. And then I'm going to take this column here, which is the A or B column, and I'm going to work out from the input variables what we would have here. Because remember, if we're ORing things, we can use an OR gate to do that. So if we look at the first two, that's a zero or a zero, which will give me a zero here. With an OR gate or an OR function, we have a 1 at the output if there's at least one 1 present at the input. Now we can see for the next one that B is a 1, so that's sufficient for us to have a 1 here. The next one we can see A is a 1, so that's sufficient for us to have a 1 here. And the last one, well, both A and B are a 1, will give us a 1. So that's the truth table there. If I have a look at the other side of the equal sign, I'm going to take the B and the A as the variables now, and I'm going to quickly produce the truth table for this one. And again, there's going to be four combinations, because we've got two variables, i.e. two to the two. And here I'm going to say B or A. Now again, we're dealing with the OR function, and we need at least one one present as any one of the variables, or if it was a logic gate, any one of the inputs to the logic gate to have a one at the output. Now the only occasion at which a one does not appear is in the first one here, when we have both B and A as a zero. So that will be a zero, and all the others give us a one. Now if we look at both truth tables, we can see that this column is identical to this column. Consequently, we can say that A or B is the same as B or A. And the truth tables enable us to consider that. So the thing here is, you just simply need to memorize this particular commutative law here. Now there is another one, and we're going to have a look at that now. Consider this. Take variable A and let's and that with variable b. Now that is the same as taking variable b and anding that with variable a. And this is one of the other laws, one of the other commutative laws. We can quickly produce a truth table here for a and b. So we'll produce the necessary combinations for the two variables of a and b here. And the output we're going to show as a and B. So we're going to produce a column here that ands together the variables A and B, as if it was an AND gate. Now we should know by now that an AND gate only gives us a 1 at the output when both of the inputs are a 1. So in other words, when A and B are both 1, and that only occurs here, that's the only one that will give us a 1, so this will be a 1. And all the others are zero, because we can see for all the other combinations, we do not have both of them as being one. If I now come over here and do the other truth table, B and A, and put the appropriate combinations for each of these, and now we're going to produce another column here uh, for B and A, then on this particular case, we look again and we can see that the only occasion both B and A are a 1 is here. So this is where we have a 1. And all of the other combinations, we don't have two 1s present, so we have a 0 for all of the other combinations. Now if we look at this particular column and this column, we can see they're the same. So that enables us to say that A and B in fact is the same as B and A. And in the same way as for the last law, you simply need to memorize this one. You're allowed to swap the variables round if you like to think of it in that way, as shown here for both of these laws, where one law you OR the variables and the other law is dealing with when you AND the variables.